Have you ever toyed with the idea of starting a dropshipping business? Today, we're going to explore this exciting e-commerce model. Picture this, a business that doesn't require you to maintain a brick and mortar store or keep stock of inventory. Yes, that's dropshipping for you. It's a retail method where you sell products, but the supplier handles the storage and shipping. You focus on marketing and customer service, leaving the nitty gritty of product handling to someone else. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? In this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the process of starting a dropshipping business. From choosing your niche and creating a business plan to finding reliable suppliers and setting up your online store, we've got you covered. We'll even delve into crafting effective marketing strategies, providing stellar customer service and scaling your venture. So buckle up as we dive into the world of dropshipping. The first step on your dropshipping journey is choosing your niche. Think of it as carving out a little corner of the online market just for yourself. This needs to be a product category or a niche that genuinely interests you because you'll be spending a lot of time with it. But it's not just about passion. It's also about strategy. You'll need to dig deep into market research. Ask yourself, what's trending? What's in demand? Who else is selling these products? And how can I do it differently or better? This research phase is critical. It helps you understand the landscape, identify opportunities, and anticipate challenges. It's about finding that sweet spot where your interests meet market demand and where your unique approach can outshine the competition. So take your time to select a niche that you love and that has potential. Remember, a well-chosen niche can be the cornerstone of your dropshipping success. With a niche in mind, it's time to put pen to paper and craft your business plan. First and foremost, define your business goals. Are you looking to supplement your income or create a full-time venture? How much revenue do you aim to generate and over what time frame? Clear, quantifiable objectives will keep you focused and motivated. Next, calculate your startup costs. Consider all initial expenses such as domain registration, website development, and marketing campaigns. Remember, dropshipping is a low-cost business model, but it's not a no-cost model. A realistic budget will prevent any unpleasant surprises down the line. Finally, outline your marketing strategy. Identify the channels that will best reach your target audience. Will you use social media, email marketing, or perhaps a combination of both? A well-thought-out marketing plan will help you attract and retain customers. A clear and concise business plan will serve as your roadmap to success. Now that your business plan is ready, it's time to make things official. Registering a business is the first step to make your venture legitimate. This involves choosing a unique business name that reflects your brand and selecting a legal structure, whether it's a sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC, or corporation. Each structure has its own set of implications for liability, taxation, and management control. Obtaining necessary licenses and permits is another crucial step in the legal setup. These allow you to operate your business within the law. The specific licenses and permits you need depend on your location, the type of products you are selling, and other factors. Keep in mind, setting up your business legally isn't just about compliance. It's about building a foundation for your business that safeguards you against legal complications down the line. It's about creating a secure framework where your business can grow and thrive. Remember, a legally sound business is a secure business. Next up, platform selection and supplier sourcing. Selecting the right platform for your dropshipping business is a crucial step. Shopify is a popular choice for good reason. Known for its user-friendly tools, customizable themes, and seamless integrations with various payment gateways, Shopify might be your go-to platform. However, it's not the only player in the game. Other contenders include WooCommerce, BigCommerce, and Magento. WooCommerce is a flexible, open-source e-commerce solution built on WordPress. With its variety of plugins and themes, it offers a high degree of customization. BigCommerce, on the other hand, is a robust all-in-one e-commerce platform that helps businesses scale and grow. And Magento? It's a powerhouse, suitable for large businesses with a vast range of features and functionalities. The key here is to choose a platform that aligns with your business needs, budget, and technical expertise. Now let's talk about finding reliable suppliers. This is where platforms like AliExpress, Oberlo, and Salehu come into play. AliExpress is a global retail marketplace that offers a wide range of products from suppliers all over the world. Oberlo is a dropshipping app that allows you to find trending products to sell online, add them to your Shopify store, and start selling today. And then there's Salehu, a powerful research tool, supplier directory, and online community for dropshippers, wholesalers, and e-commerce stores. 
When evaluating suppliers, don't just look at product quality and shipping times. Consider their customer service too. Remember, they're essentially your business partners. You want to work with suppliers who are responsive, supportive, and committed to your business success. In the world of dropshipping, your choice of platform and suppliers is critical. It's a balance of functionality, cost, service, and trust. Do your research, ask questions, and don't be afraid to change course if something isn't working. Choosing the right platform and suppliers can make or break your dropshipping business. So choose wisely and set your business up for success. With suppliers on board, it's time to create your online store and define your pricing strategy. First things first, you want to set up a professional-looking online store. Whether you've chosen Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, or Magento, each platform offers user-friendly tools to help you create an appealing online store. Add product listings, ensuring each product has high-quality images and compelling descriptions. Remember, your customers can't physically touch or see the product, so your visuals and descriptions are all they have to go by. Your website design should not only be aesthetically pleasing, but also easy to navigate. A seamless user experience can significantly increase conversion rates. So, ensure your website is intuitive and user-friendly, whether customers browse on a desktop or mobile device. Now let's talk about the pricing strategy, an essential aspect that can make or break your dropshipping business. Your product prices should consider several factors, the first one being your supplier costs. This includes the cost of the product itself and any shipping fees. Next, consider your desired profit margin. Ask yourself, how much do I want to earn from each sale? This profit margin should be realistic and sustainable. It's tempting to set a high profit margin, but remember, your prices need to remain competitive. Speaking of competition, it's crucial to analyze your competitor's pricing. You want to stay competitive, but avoid the pitfall of underpricing. Underpricing can lead to low profit margins and create an impression of low quality. Instead, aim for a pricing strategy that balances competitiveness with profitability. And remember, customers are often willing to pay a bit more for products if they perceive added value. This value could come from your brand's reputation, excellent customer service, or even the convenience of shopping with you. In the end, a well-structured online store and competitive pricing are key to attracting customers. These elements, when executed well, help to build your brand's credibility and ensure the financial health of your business. So take your time to get them right, because your success depends on it. Now let's delve into marketing, customer service, and scaling your business. Marketing is the lifeblood of your dropshipping business. A solid marketing strategy comprises several elements. Social media marketing, for instance, is a powerful tool that leverages platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to reach, engage, and convert your target audience. Content marketing, on the other hand, involves creating and sharing valuable content to attract and retain customers. This could be blog posts, how-to guides, or educational videos about your products. Lastly, email campaigns can be effective for nurturing leads and encouraging repeat purchases. But remember, no matter how good your marketing efforts are, they won't amount to much without excellent customer service. A happy customer is a loyal customer. So, ensure you're always there to answer inquiries, handle returns, and process refunds promptly. Use tools that allow you to manage customer interactions in one place making it easier for you to monitor and respond to customer concerns. Lastly, as your business grows, so should your strategies. Scaling your business doesn't just mean selling more, it means expanding your reach and operations. This could involve branching out to other platforms or niches, or investing in marketing and automation tools to streamline your processes. Remember, scaling is a delicate process. Grow too quickly and you might not be able to sustain it grow too slowly and you might miss out on opportunities. Keep an eye on your metrics too. Monitor your sales, traffic, conversion rates, and customer behavior. Use this data to optimize your store and improve your strategies. And of course, learn from successful dropshipping businesses. Study their strategies, their successes, and even their failures. These case studies can offer valuable insights that you can apply to your own business. Remember, persistence, adaptability, and continuous learning are the keys to success in dropshipping. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing. Good luck with your venture. And that wraps up our guide to starting a dropshipping business. We've journeyed through identifying your niche, understanding market trends and competition. We've talked about crafting a solid business plan, defining goals, and calculating startup costs. We've delved into the legal aspects, registering your business, and obtaining necessary licenses. 
Choosing the right platform and finding reliable suppliers was our next stop, followed by setting up your online store and devising a competitive pricing strategy. We've also explored the vast realm of marketing and branding and the importance of providing excellent customer service. Remember, tracking your metrics and using data to optimize your store is crucial. And as your business grows, don't shy away from expanding to other platforms or niches. The journey may be challenging, but remember, success in dropshipping requires persistence, adaptability, and continuous learning. Thank you for joining us today, and remember, the world of dropshipping is awaiting your venture. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates and insights.